all the way across here and then this will come over the top of it slightly all that's been cut out ready for me to do the new i've got to build a lip coming down round meeting the floor edge now the only thing i'm not sure about is that this access panel in there like that all right let's see if i can can stand on this floor and jump up and down on it today's video friday not friday <laughs> i don't know what happened to my boys in that last video i'm going to be making that section and getting that done it's really sunny and hot today i um the other day i left my phone on the floor here and i was spraying the inside of the chassis rail before i put it in and i went over my phone and my whole phone was painted i literally had to roll up and clean my screen off because it covered the whole screen in paint so that was a uh, a bit annoying So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Hopefully all this will be all buttoned up and finished. And then I can move on to the back floor. So, yep, I'll get back to you when I've started putting that in. There it is so far. The metal panel is in. I've even decided to do this. I've welded it all down the sides. And I'm just going to clean this up because there's nothing actually wrong with it, it's solid. I'm going to clean that up. That will go in like that. And then that will weld back into there like that. That will go in there like that. So that will that be back. I'm going to uh, clean it and brush treat it. I've, uh, these are just some of the welds so far just to hold it in place. But I've butt welded it all the way around. That's got the lip. To go straight across there but welded it in here kept that look i'm gonna put a bit of welding and then grind it down so it looks like the part of the lip still loads of grinding to do but i've got to put a couple of spot welds in here some more spot welds in here and then seam seal this lip and then this will be gone this is how solid this is Right, we'll be back with you when I've done some more. I'm working on the cover. I've put some stone chip in there. Again, so that's got like three layers of different types of things in there. I think I had primer, like brush treatment, primer, uh, stone chip, and then it left to dry, and then I put some more stone chip on it. So now it's really thick in there. That's protected and I put some brush treatment around the edges there so that I could when I weld the um, cover back on I can then seam seal around the cover and then that's gonna be perfect I'll be back with you when I've done some more still quite a bit of work to do on here yet so when it's finished up I'll show you that's what I wanted to show you, to show you that inside the chassis rails are well protected. And obviously some wax oil is going to go in there as well. Right, that's that back in. Spot welded in from the sides. So I'm going to put a bit of rush treatment on the outside of it now while I finish up the rest of it. Got all the welding to do around the edges. Spot welding to finish across there. Seam seal it across. Seam seal all around this bracket. And then primer it. Yeah, not bad for a couple of hours work. Basically so she's solid. Oh, fantastic. Obviously I've still got to do that, but this was my main priority today. So hopefully next time I show you this, it'll all be spotless and seam sealed and primed. Of 
because I'm just going to do everything in primer for now in case I want to make any changes or anything. I don't want nothing to be final yet. So, that's what I've done. I've just got to finish grinding it all the air, all the four. Smoothing it all up. And I'll be back with you uh, in the next one. Alright, started grinding it. That's my welds, flattened. As you can see, they are seam, seam welded, look. Obviously, there's a few little specks where I had to stop. But if you look, they do go all the way across. And if I get the ammo. Sorry. I'm obviously, that, that's back in the brace. All up there, I've just got loads of welding to do all up there, but I'm running out of time at the moment. So hopefully I can get back on it in a bit when I've fetched my daughter from school. That's it so far. Moving the whole car. I'll be back with you when I've done some more. I've drilled spot weld holes ready. There's three there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to weld. And then there'll be a, a layer of seam sealer going over this. Seam sealer going over this, down the sides, up to there, across there, and up to there, and then up to there, right up to that corner there. And then obviously these corners get seam sealer, but I've got still got quite a bit of work to do up there yet. That's it so far. I have a floor. Still got loads of wilding to do still. <laughs> Really nice weather today. All in there is protected as, you, as I showed in the last clip. I've just got loads more grinding to do. I've got seam sealing and a bit of clean, uh, tidying up to make it look nice. The strength's there, but I also want it to look nice as well. Obviously, even though you don't see it, but it plays on your mind if you. You know, it's like if you left a bit of rubbish under your bed, you can't see it, but you know it's there. <laughs> or when your partner brushes all the rubbish under the carpet, only joking. <laughs> oh, you walk into your living room and the carpet's touching the ceiling. Right, that's it. I'll be back soon and show you the. Hey, because I want to get all this out and I want to do the whole of this section that I've worked on and clean it all up. So I'm getting really close to finishing up because after I finish that, it's this bit here. And then that, clean, do some work up there, finish doing all of that and cleaning that up and re I'm rethinking on that one at the minute. Now that I'm getting better at stuff, I might readdress that bit. I'm not happy with that. A little square patch is all right, but that bit at the side of it. Although I have got to grind it. I haven't grinded it, have I? No, it's still got the bead of weld on it going across. Yeah, I'll see what I can do with that. See if I can clean it up. So, yep. I'll bring you back when I've done some Back on it on Saturday. Not Saturday. <laughs> anyway, this is what I've been doing so far. At the moment, I'm just finishing off all the weld. I don't know if you can see it. Just finishing off. Just finishing off all the weld in there. Seam weld. Just it all off. I started making the inner cell section. Yeah. I've just got to cut it to shape. Um, I'm start cleaning it back up up there again. I am. Welding all around the edges again now. 
I've put my spot welds in. I've just got to grind them and give them a little bit more of a weld so it's missed little bits like that. But that's my inner corner. I've even, when I put this bit in here, this bit, I've even shaped it up round there so it can attack it there and there to give this here some shape back because somebody had cut all the corner out of there. So just to give that its corner, its missing corner, I've just knocked this down, joined it there, so and then I'll tap that in a little bit and then it'll give this its little oval back, its little shape, just to give it some of its character back. Just got to put in, finish a bit more welds in here. I've tacked it here, just to help hold it because it's getting seam welded around there now. Just like where I've welded it here, if you look on the edges, I've given it one little tack as well just on the edges to keep the lip down so that it don't shift or anything so spot welded and tacked just help keep that corner edge down and then I'll seam seal across all of this here across all of that so that's it so far even got the plate back on so I started cleaning up all of them there all in there is looking good and I'll uh, bring you back when I've done some more. Looking good. Hello again. This is what I've been doing on, on my uh, Saturday. All that seam welded. I'm just grinding it now. But that's what it looks like with the floor. I've got this little bit here to do. A little bit there to do. But that's all I've got and a little hole up there all this is cleaned started doing up there all down here is cleaned got a floor solid I can even move the whole car now with the corner Dust in my eyes. That's all done. I'm just gonna finish grinding it up and start putting some seam sealer in in the places where I want it. Just got a couple of more spot welds to do in here around the chassis rail and a couple there. A few bits here and there like that. And then I'll be getting it all uh grinded. All welded in. I've just got a couple of little holes to fill in here. That's my inner cell. Yep. I've just got to trim that as well. We've even been doing work in there, so all that's looking good. This is my wheel arch. Been using the sunlight so I can get rid of all the pinholes. And if you look, there's no pinholes in this section now. So that's done. Actually, I just spotted there. There's one there, so I'll get that in a sec. Get that. A little bit more of this and that. That's just the corner. I want to open to get this seam cell today and primed. Obviously, it's bare metal. So, back with you shortly when I've done some more. That's more work done. I've just got to put one spot weld there, 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 there. And that can be grinded some more. I'm just going around it doing some final touch ups. Before I completely finish it off. A few little pinholes to fill in still. A bit more grinding. I mean all up there is good. All being cleaned, welded, no pinholes. Down there, 
seam there for the outer seal. A bit more welding down here to do there while the light's shining through it. A bit more in those holes there where them are just to make sure they're connecting properly. So that's it so far. That short there. Right, that's it so far. I've put some brush treatment on it. And then now I'm gonna go and get some seam sealer and start doing all of this. I'm gonna seam seal all around that plate, across the lip there that I've done. All in there's done apart from a couple of pin holes, but I'm gonna do that when I take the A post off so I can get to it better with my uh, copper armor. That's it so far, and I'll bring you back when I've uh, got some seam sealer on it and I've primed it. Back to it. Still drying at the minute, but it's all done, seam sealed, repaired. I've grabbed this here. Makes the whole car. This is solid. Even the seal solid. So that's the footwell finished. Obviously, it'll look better when it's dried. It's just it's all wet at the minute. It should dry as a a matte finish, like this bit here. It should dry like this bit here when it's done. I've had to put all the spot welds up there where I put that metal panel back in. Right down to there is done. So this foot weld is fixed. I mean, there's probably a little bit of bumps here. I've got to fill this hole in. Where are you? There. But I'm going to do that when I take the A post off. Because then I'll have better, better access to it with my uh, copper piping. So that's it. One football finished. Now, the crazy thing is, this floor has only cost me £37 to build. Whereas the, if I bought the floor pan, it would have cost me 219 quid. So it's build all this it was 37 pounds with the inner building my own inner cell as well so that was a big saving and the car is strong I don't know how much more I can prove that once that's dry I will show you again when it's dry in my next video Probably uh, when I start building the back one, because I need to take a day off. So, that's done. I've still got to um, trim this bit here. I've still got to trim the rounded bit. But I've started welding that in. I've started building, repairing all that in there. Uh, one of my next jobs is to take that A post off, start building up that top section where it goes up into the window frame. So, yeah, that's it. It's starting to dry now, look. It's like a matte colour. Always looks horrible when it's gloss. If it dries, by the time I've packed up, I'll uh, film it, that clip again in a sec, in a bit, but if it don't then I won't <laughs> but it is starting to dry and I'll if it does dry I'll show you I'll be back soon there it is it's drying there's that seam across there going up to there which will then follow all the way around the tunnel when I do the other side 
because obviously I've got to make the football bit because you can't buy these bits. There's the strength in the plate in the middle, back on. All down there, built and connected to the outer bit there. Obviously, I'm going to repair that hole there when I take the A post off, along with some repairs in this bit there. I'm going to do that when this is up, A post is off. It'll be easier for me to get out. So, that's it. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and on to the next one. Bye-bye.